So in this section, we're going to start working on loading up some images into our React application. So let's get the general idea. Our application is going to be running inside of a user's browser, right? So once they enter a search term and they hit enter, we're going to make an AJAX request over to an API called the Pixabay API. And if we send them a request to get back a list of images with some keywords like flowers, cats, or dogs, whatever, the Pixabay API will send us back a list of records. So far, so good. We can then take that on and use it to render a list of images on the screen. So let's take a look at the pixabay.com and get a better idea of how it works. So I'll just open up a new browser tab and navigate to pixabay.com. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is sign up, Pixabay. So to do it, just click on the link, left-hand side right here, and then you can enter in some information so that you can create a new account. I'm not going to sign up, of course, right now because I already have a Pixabay account, but I'll wait for you to do that so you can pause the video and uh, create a new account for yourself, and I'll see you when you're done. All right. So... Once you log into their service, we can now go to API documentation. And when we scroll down to the bottom, you'll click on that API link and you'll be prompted to this developer page. Just click on the green get started link. Okay, so this page is the Pixabay API documentation page. You may look and, uh, well, learn more about the Pixabay API if you want to, but we're going to just pass over it quickly. So scroll down a little bit more, as, and right here under the search image section, we can see the Pixabay URL and then the parameters underneath of it. So we're going to use some of them to fetch data from Pixabay. For instance, we're going to use this API key, and it's required. So this is the personal API key provided by Pixabay, and we have to use it inside of our code. So just underneath of it, we can see this Q parameter, and this is going to help us to search our input entry. As you scroll down a little bit more, there's an example of the Pixabay URL that is retrieving photos of yellow flowers. As I just mentioned, the Q parameter right here represents the search term. And in this case, the search term happens to be yellow flowers. And this is the unique API key that belongs to us. So have a closer look at it. It is just identical with what we have right here. So we can use it. Just changing the search term right here with whatever the user enters in our search input. So we're going to use it to fetch some images. But right now, let's take a little break, and in the next section, we're going to learn how to fetch some data from outside services. We're going to speak specifically about how we're going to make a network request from our React application. So let's pause it right here and come back in the next section.